Okay, so this is going to be by far the worst video I have ever put together. As you can see, I am in my bathroom. Well, there's a reason why I'm in my bathroom. Now, as you know, I am not one for putting on makeup. In fact, I hate it. I hate everything about it. When I was younger, I lived for makeup, okay? I was the makeup queen, and I loved to look pretty. And I still love to look pretty. However, I just don't like the time involved in it. So last night, I sat up for hours watching all these beauty tips on YouTube and how to put on makeup professionally and even watched Unique Monique, who is Monique Parent, and she is more my age. So one of the videos that she did was about how to apply makeup for a mature face, which would be mine. Now I look this way for a reason. I'm letting you see what I look like and I'm gonna let you see what I really look like because this is not even what I really look like. In fact, as a matter of fact, my eyebrows are beyond ridiculous right now, if you can see how bad they really are. I have a really hard time keeping my eyebrows together. Let's just say that. I have a hard time plucking my eyebrows because I really can't see very well anymore. And so I think I'm going to have to do what Monique Parent said, as I really need to get one of those lighted mirrors that's magnified for us old people. So that's one of the things I'm thinking of investing in if this is the route I want to take. I know it's really important that we look professional, we look beautiful on YouTube videos, and I have not been doing that very well. And the reason for that is I used to be a very pretty woman. but in my older age, after several children, I have gained a lot of weight. I have a double chin, which isn't pretty to show you, but I'm showing it to you. So I have this double chin here, which I don't like. And um, unfortunately, I'm just aging. My eyelids droop. So I have the droopy eyelids now as well. And I have the saggy cheeks and all that and I have the wrinkles I've had this wrinkle forever this is my worry this is my worry wrinkle this is where I've been worrying and yes my nails have not been done again okay get over it I just don't have the time I've been babysitting my nieces for the past week who are two and three so no I didn't have time to do this and I'm just now home okay so I just brushed my teeth, as you saw. That's like the first thing I want to do if I'm going to put any makeup on. However, here's another thing. I'm wearing this for a reason, because I have this. Okay, I don't like to shower every day. I don't feel the need for it. However, I have super, super oily hair, as you can see, and there's my fun receding hairline that everybody makes fun of. It's super, super, super oily. I have the most oiliest skin and hair, as you can see. So you can see here, I have a very high forehead and my hair is incredibly oily. However, again, like I said, I don't like to shower every day. As you know from one of my top 10 videos, I hate to shower. So what I've done is I've invested in these dry shampoo products and I love them. This is my favorite. I'm almost out. So let's give it a try. I'm going to try to get everything I can out of here. <laughs> Ah, come on. Come on, don't give up on me now. Ah, I'm out. I have a backup that I don't particularly care for. This is the cheaper brand. This is the more expensive brand. So this is like seven, eight dollars. This is like three dollars. And this stuff doesn't work very well. It's okay. I mean, it does its job right off the bat. However, 
it will eventually, my hair will start to get it eventually oily again. But you can see what the dry shampoo will do. It'll put like a little bit of white. Now this stuff's toxic. I think I'm gonna have to turn the bathroom fan on. Now I know what I'll look like when I turn gray, which I am, as you know, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I am turning gray. So then I gotta do, I, you do the roots. So now you know what I'll look like gray. Ugh. And you can see how foggy it is in here. That's one thing I don't like about this one is that <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really foggy. This one doesn't do that and it smells much better. All right, so the next step I need to do after I spray this in my hair is I need to work it through my roots. Of course, I do have clean hands. I have washed my hands after I brush my teeth. Very important, especially if you're touching your hair and you want clean hair after you put the dry shampoo in. You want to make sure that you get it all in and through in the roots and through the tips so that it has now given you that look as if you just washed your hair. Like seriously, look at just what, what just happened to my hair. The, the thing I don't like is that with the other one, this cheap one, is that it will kind of leave a little bit of that chalky residue on my scalp or at my roots. And my natural part goes this way, as you can see. So, and I have this colic. And you can see some of my, um, my white hairs already in here. So, yeah. I've, I, I picked out one, but see, you can see right here how it's got that chalky. So I try to get that as much as possible. Just rub it in, keep rubbing it in. There's one of my white hairs, pretty white hair. I'm actually excited to go gray. We'll see. Okay, so the next thing I need to do from what the video says is I need to get my hair out of my face. Again, because I'm not showering today, I don't need to. It's not like I've been rolling in the mud. I don't stink. It's not that bad. My hair was oily, but look it. I have great, beautiful, well, I don't have beautiful hair, but it's clean now. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is wash my face. And I use wipes. I am, oh my gosh, like, seriously, I need to, like, invest in the market in these things because whoever invented these facial washes wipes brilliant i love you um this is a new one that i've been using shia moisture i can't even see american black soap clarifying facial wipes with tea tree oil and calendula okay and i use this because it's for oily blemish prone skin i'm still 50 years old as you can see um i have a lot of acne marks i still have acne um i'm now getting these fun moles all over my face which is really exciting i'm gonna try to conceal those because monique actually showed how to conceal those so i'm gonna try to see if I can do that I don't know and then I watched another girl who did shading for the chin so I'm gonna try that too I probably will not do very well at this so I'm gonna wash my face I usually get a lot of oil in between my nose that is like the worst spot for me to get oil I really wish this would wipe away fat. Another place that I really get oily, of course, because I have oily hair, is right up at the hairline. So I always try to get really good there. And then I like to go over it again on the other side. 
just to make sure that if I've missed any spots that I'm now getting them. And you can see, you know, the, the dry shampoo does kind of make your hair a little dull. I mean, it's not going to make your hair shiny by any means, but um, it does the trick, you know? That's all that matters. All right. So I wipe my ears a little too because I get, you know, all around that area is where it gets really oily. So I like to make sure that I'm getting everywhere that could possibly be really oily and on the back of my neck as well. Anywhere along my hairline. Okay, so that's done. This is gross. I would show you all the dirt that came from my face, but it's not dirt, it's oil. I have a lot of oil. I produce a lot of oil. One of the products that I have loved a really long time ago, um, I got very involved with Arborn and I loved all their products. I really felt like it was <laughs> working towards anti-aging, but one of the products that I really love that I still use, I don't use much of their products anymore because it's way too expensive and I make nothing off YouTube. I am a stay-at-home mom so <laughs> I can't afford these things but this is one of the products that I use. It is a makeup primer. Now the primer is really more like it's not like a primer like you would think like these women are putting these primers on that are um color have color in them this primer actually just helps your makeup to go on smoothly and that's one thing that I need because I have splotches on my face where makeup just won't stick I have the most weirdest skin ever so I have these spots that the makeup just won't go on so what I do is I put the primer on with my finger I just do it with my finger and it makes everything super smooth and you can feel, it's almost like putting silk on your face. I mean, it's amazing, okay? So I put it on all over because this helps my makeup to go on smoothly. Now this, what I love about this product is because I do have oily skin, it doesn't make my skin any more oily. So um, that's what I like about this product too. So you can see, kind of put a little bit of a shine, but it's more of a smooth, silky feeling. And you can see, you can see how I can just go really smooth. Now, this is where everything is gonna start getting really weird for me because that's my normal routine. My other normal routine is this. I take this crappy little foundation and I put it on my face and I just go as fast as I possibly can and then I put on my makeup, a little bit of eyeliner, I color in my brows, put a little bit of a blush on and I'm done. However, today I am going to use my Age Rewind that I've had forever. And I am going to use a concealer. We'll see how this goes. All right, so I'm gonna see how this goes. So first I'm gonna start with my Instant Age Rewind, can't read it, by Maybelline. This is probably gonna go incredibly terribly bad. I'm gonna do what Monique said. I am gonna just use a regular sponge and I'm going to just wet it like she said to do. And then squeeze out the excess moisture. I may even just dry it with my towel real quick. All right, so she says to use a moist sponge. So that's what I'm using. Now everybody else uses the blenders and apparently those are expensive. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this on my sponge. And then I wanna Blot everywhere, like she said. I am putting some on my eyelids. I do put foundation on my eyelids. Now I'm doing something different. Typically I just brush 
I usually just kind of brush it on with the sponge, but I'm doing the blending technique. And that's what I was gonna say about my mom is that my mom always had this line right here. So growing up, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't ever want to look like that. I don't want to have those crazy, you know, <laughs> what do I look like? A clown, a circus clown. Now I'm actually doing my cheeks a little bit more because again, as I said, I have these spots on my cheek that won't take makeup. And I am gonna get a little bit under my eyes. I am doing my eyelids. And I need to get up high on my forehead because, because as you know, I have this high forehead. So, you know. Now the other thing that I saw Monique do was her ears, which I've never really seen anybody do before. Pretty smart though. So I'm gonna try this technique. Okay, how am I looking here? I'm I'm just gonna start sweeping down and making sure that everything is blended properly. Okay, so far I'm doing okay, I think. <laughs> Get those spots on my ear. Get that nice double chin. Yeah, this is pretty, isn't it? I told you this was gonna be the worst video ever. I told you that, didn't I? So now that I have the foundation on, you can still see my blemishes. All right, I am going to try the concealer. She also went around inside her nose like this. So I'm gonna try that inside the corner of her eyes. A little because I have such bags under my eyes. Let's see. I'm gonna try that. I have, this is actually a beauty bowl that I have. Um, I've had that all my whole life. But these things here, these are all new fun things in my life as I get older. I don't think I can fill that in because if I fill it in, it looks cakey and weird. So I'm going to... Boy, if I were to dot out every flaw, I would just be one big dot. All right. So, to do the next spot, I need to blend it in. Just blotching, I guess. And as you can see, you can still see my mole. Pretty bad. So, not so wonderful. Might have to try a different type of concealer. So far, not so good. So, I look kind of silly. Next, I'm going to powder. This is no special brush whatsoever, and it was my mother's. So it's like 900 years old. Now I'm just using mineral wear. So again, I have no fancy makeup. I have no fancy brushes that cost, you know, $40. I've put some powder on the tip and I'm doing what Monique said to kind of tap it down so that the powder goes into the brush. So I'm giving that a try. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, okay. So then I'm just gonna, that worked out well. Okay, so now the next thing I guess I'm gonna do is, I don't know, I have to give this some thought. Okay, so I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is eyeshadow. I'm wearing green today. Um, so we'll see how this goes. One of the things that um, Monique had said was to kind of put those colors up in here. Now 
not entirely sure I'm doing this right. So we're going to put these colors right there and maybe right in the corner. Okay, then I'm going to take this darker color and we'll see what I can do with this, if anything. See, as you get older, you have to like pull your skin. It's like crazy. All right, so that's what I have so far. Okay, so another thing that I do, I do a cheat. I'm not gonna lie, I cheat. I take my mascara. And this is how I do my eyebrows. Right? Stupid. But it's all I have right now. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be doing. So I'll do the next one. So looking pretty bad at this point. I told you this was gonna be a terrible video because I am trying something completely new and unusual for me. So I've got a little bit more here that I particularly don't care to have. So that's not good. So I'm just gonna wipe this off. So it's not so dark and crazy. Bad enough, I have crazy eyebrows as it is. And you can see that they're not very even. And I, like I said, I am not gonna get into that today. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what Monique said is to go along the top lid. and then to fill it in by going underneath. So far, I'm not impressed. maybe bring this into the corner here. Now I'm not entirely sure how to do this thing to make my eyes look more open. Because see how stupid that looks? I don't get it. So the video obviously didn't do very well. <laughs> I'm going to look like a French whore at the end of this. You wait and see. So far, not so good. This is not going my way. And makeup usually never does when I'm trying to do it on my own. Now I am going to, for me, I can't stand harsh stuff like this. So I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit. And one of the things that she used was a blender, but I'm gonna use this thing here and just kind of smooth that out. Okay. 
really not impressed. Not good. Ugh. Okay. So I am going to try contour. I don't usually contour either. Now because I don't have all those fancy brushes, I'm just gonna use the icky brushes that I have. So I have this Maybelline on contour and I am going to, what she said, one of the girls, not Monique, is to go under this line. So I'm gonna do that, very little. Very little I'm putting on the brush. If I get more on it than I really want, I can always take powder to it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do these, the jawline, which she said, to try to get rid of my double chin. I think I'm just gonna look stupid. I think I'm gonna look like a clown is what I'm really gonna look like. All right. And to go down the sides of the nose, tips of the nose. I think I'm gonna have to watch these videos a lot more than just once. Up on the hairline because I should really, really let everyone see, you know, my forehead. It's very important that people, you know, get to see my forehead. Okay, I am not Not going well. All right, so then I'm gonna take what she said, um, the highlighter. So we'll put just a little bit on that. And we'll highlight my cheeks. See how that looks. Yeah, I look like the clown that she was imitating. Totally. So now for the mascara. Going from the roots up. I don't have a lot of eyelashes anymore either. Thank you, old age. Now, some of these things I've been doing since I was 12, okay? Mascara at the bottom, obviously. No one would just put it on the tips, that's silly. However, towards the end, when you want it, I put on a second coat because I don't have the eyelashes that I used to have. And that's probably thanks to all the mascara that I've used in my life. Ripping all my, oh my gosh, do you know what I used to do when I was a teenager? I would get clumps of, oh my gosh, clumps of mascara on my eyes. And I would pull the clumps out. So no wonder I don't have any eyelashes anymore. And I always have to use a tip. 
to get in the corners. And now, as you can see, that's not really doing much of anything. So that's why I have to go over it again. And I like to do the tips. because I feel like it gets more definition at the tips for somebody like me who doesn't have a lot of eyelashes and can't really put those fakey fakies on and can't afford the luxury of eyelash extensions. So this is what I'm looking like so far, and so far I am not happy. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, I know everybody wants to wipe their foundation off from their lips, but I don't. I actually really like it. So I'm going to put some of this on. This is a, I don't know, just a, almost like a nude color. But as you can see, it changes colors on my lips. I mean, look at this compared to this. With my lips, typically what happens is colors for lipstick is always going to change. And I think that's for anybody. I think your the color of your lips is always going to change the color of your lipstick. So it's just, and it will change over time too. So now I have this lip gloss, a little bit of shiny, and I'm gonna do what this girl said, and I'm not putting it on with a brush or anything. I'm just using my finger. I usually use the brush. So let's just do that. Let's just be real here. Because so far, all of these techniques have not worked. So there I have my makeup on. Terrible. I need to wash my hands now. So I don't really feel like I've done anything different. In fact, I don't feel like my makeup looks better by any means. I think I could have done without the eyeliner up on top. Uh, I don't really think it looks that that good. I think it got smeary and I think I want to wipe some of this toilet paper. I think I want to take some of this eyeshadow off because I do not like a lot of eyeshadow. So I like more of a natural look. So this look is way too heavy for me. So I, like I said, I don't particularly care for that heavy look, but I do think I need something on the crease of my eye because my eyes look droopy. So I'm going to try to, I'm just going to use my finger go right up on the top because my eyes are droopy so if I take it up a little bit higher and just let my eyes droop droop not terrible but not great either again I'm just gonna kind of take some of that excess off because I don't want too much going on. All right, that's it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my hair. Love this. For somebody who has super fine, thin hair, I have to tell you, first of all, this, as you can see, is giving me volume. And I don't typically have volume. So this also will give me curls, which I don't have. You're going to watch the magic of Aussie Instant Freeze like never before. I do not have curly hair. And so I like poofy. Yeah, I do. Okay. So 
So one thing about having oily hair is that the next day, if you do something like this, it is much more pliable. Okay, so you have much more ability to do more with your hair than you would if it's clean. Truly, I have problems doing my hair when it's clean. I can't do anything. So the very next day when I use these products on my hair, this is the result I get compared to nothingness. All right, so this is what I look like now with my makeup done and my hair done and I don't think I look any better. Okay, maybe a little bit better. But surely not as good as Monique did or that other girl. And let me tell you, without makeup, mm. but this, no, I don't think I did much better. So I'm gonna keep practicing. And that's all I can do is just keep practicing, keep watching those beauty tip videos and see how it goes. Cause I'm not impressed, I don't like it. And I'm, you know, the only thing I really like right now is my hair. So there you go. The worst beauty video on YouTube. I am so grateful that you came to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to continue watching and don't forget to subscribe.